This is the kind of grocery shopping I do every every quarter, like every three to four months because where I shop for groceries for this part, these particular ingredients like African food and stuff, it's kind of very far away from where I live right now. So um yeah, so I go there every three to four months and just bulk, you know, bulk buy everything and keep them in the freezer for us to use. So this is what I get for a family of two, just me and my husband, right? This store is in Kennedy Square Mall in, it's in Brampton. I, yeah, I think it's in Brampton. Um, I tried an African store close to where I am and they had nothing like I wasted tri my trip I, I wasted time I wasted money to go there they had nothing it was a very very small store like I was so pissed off when I when I got there because they had nothing they had nothing anyway um this store is called fresh wing hey wing my husband laughs at my gun accent Fresh Win Food Mart in Kennedy Square Mall. So I'm going to show you what I got and how much it was. And I need you to guess the total. Look at how long my... Okay, it's not that long. Anyways. And guess the total of everything <laughs> that I got. Okay, so to start with, I got two of these jasmine rice. Okay, see, this is the Milagrosa long grain rice. Yeah, um, it's also there's also a sewa koto written on it. So, this is the they're making noise from upstairs. This is the um, the rice we use in this house. So, I got two of these, and then I got one of these. Oh. How much is the rice? Let me tell you how much. The rice, I think it's $22 or so. Okay, the rice is $19.99. $19.99 for one. So like $20. Okay. I don't know if you guys can hear the noise from upstairs. I don't know. But yeah, I got um, beans as well. This one goes for more than three months, so that's it. The beans is $25. It's more than the rice. The beans is $25.99. I got this sack of purple or red tomato, red onions. And that one is, that one is $14.99, so almost $15. And then I have this big watermelon. You know when you're choosing a what? A watermelon the one that has a big yellow pouch here is the sweetest one so this is what I got my husband loves watermelon so I have that as well that was $5.99 do you know Walmart um, Walmart watermelon is like $13 if I'm not mistaken yes I think $13 anyway this is $5.99 if you're looking for somewhere with deals in this Canada, go and check this store out, okay? That's where I shop. Okay, so in this big bag, I have these small um, mangoes. I like mangoes, so I bought this. But I only bought four so that we can be, you know, very demure when we're eating this. And yes, uh, we'll go, you know, we'll go ham on them. I don't want us to eat too much sugar, so it's fine. And I have this bag of fresh garlic. This was like $5. If you go to Walmart, this will be more than $5, maybe $15. Walmart is killing us. And I have six of these peppers. I put the, these in the freezer and take them out whenever I want to use them. So I bought six of these. One 
is between two ninety nine and three uh three eighteen I think yeah so I have six of these those are five or six one two three four five and then I have the red one as um the green one as well these are scotch bonnet peppers okay Jamaican hot pepper pardon me but yeah these are the green ones as well i like them because they give flavor to um certain stews especially if you're cooking with palm oil red oil using green peppers really gives it some flavor and smell i have this african pepe but for some so uh, powdered pepe and then i got uh Ripe plantain as well. I have two of these. Okay. Um, well, I didn't tell you the price of this one. Um, this pepe is five dollars, and this pepe is eight dollar forty nine. Okay, so these two bundles of plantain is fourteen dollars okay fourteen dollars i got some from walmart um some unripe ones waiting for it to ripe before you know i do whatever with it it's been a week and a half and look at what it looks like look at the plantain i bought from walmart it's been a week and a half nothing has happened to it, it and it's getting hard walmart is fucking useless useless so anyway um so these plantain, what I do with them is I am going to fry them and keep them in the freezer. And then anytime I do beans, go back. We take some and eat it, you know. So that's the plan. I forgot to tell you, this one, just these four. Why are the small mangoes so expensive? Just this four is tenderless. Ah, I should have checked. I shouldn't have bought it. And then I bought bag, two of these. I think this was like $1.99 each. Oh, it was $2.99 each. So two of them was $5.98. $5.98. Okay. I, I also didn't say what I do with this. Um, I'm going to peel these and um, use my food processor to shred them a bit or dice them a bit or whatever into smaller pieces and then i put it in ziploc bags flat and then divide it into like cubes freeze it and then anytime i need garlic i can just break off a cube i don't know if you know what i mean but maybe i'll record a video of how i store my garlic so i have two of these carrots one was two 259 or something so two of these and then i also love these mangoes so i bought two two of these were four dollars these big mangoes i was actually going to leave this store and go to um um african supermarket it's a it's i think it's a Ghanaian uh supermarket um i was going there specifically for fufu Fufu powder, but luckily for me, I found I found this in the store I was at. And this store, I believe, is an Asian supermarket, but they have everything we need as Africans, honestly. Okay, so I bought this fufu powder from there as well. It was kind of expensive. It was like twenty dollars. Yeah, it was twenty ninety nine, so twenty one dollars for one point five kg. Powder. I also go to the other store for palm soup base, but um, because I didn't go, this is what I found in the Asian supermarket. Has anyone used this before? The one I usually use is the Inkulenu palm soup base. That one is great for me. I didn't know about this one, so I didn't buy it. Let me know if you've used it and it's nice. Okay, so I think I'm all done with the grains, fruits, veggies, 
and whatever carbs let's get on with the protein 12 minutes okay 12 minutes it's not that bad i've been speaking for 12 minutes not that bad not that bad. okay so i got these um three tilapias right three tilapia for 14.58 and it's 3.59 per pound but if they clean it for you it's like for no 3.99 or something i was like don't clean it for me i'll clean i'll clean it myself one one thing about me is i don't like dealing with protein when it's when it's not frozen it feels it, it feels weird in my hand i don't like i don't i don't like cutting protein when it's fresh i don't yeah i don't like cutting it i don't like cleaning it when it's fresh when it's frozen I, I i i like cleaning it when it's frozen because the texture is is better for me i don't know if you get what i mean so this is going to be uh, this is going to be a hassle i mean uh, i don't i don't want to put this in the fridge this evening so i'm i'm, I'm gonna have to clean it um fresh like this this evening and put it in the freezer for whenever i'm in need of it ew there's water coming from it so so we have five pieces of mackerel i love mackerel okay five pieces of mackerel for 16.76 and this is 288 per pound if they clean it for you it was 359 or something per pound i'm like don't clean it for me i'll clean it myself so this is it what i do with this one is i don't like the head my husband doesn't like the head so i cut it off throw it away um so i cut it um clean it and then season it with just salt just salt nothing else you don't need um oil nothing else and put it in the uh in the air fryer for i think 15 minutes um it's actually whatever i feel like so anyways so for 15 minutes the temperature whatever i feel like that's what i do but maybe 350 and up and i put it in there and roast it or air fry it or whatever and then um cool it down and then put it in the freezer and use it whenever i'm making um mostly soups or stews sometimes okay so last one is this Whew. this is my husband this this is the you this i can use this to work out okay this is my husband's favorite protein goat meat he likes goat meat in every every everything 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 whenever i'm putting he's like is there goat meat is there goat meat is there goat meat anyways so yeah this is 15 pounds 15 pounds of goat meat for 75 dollars 20 cents so this is going to last for about three to four months or more um for the both of us and whew, yeah i don't have to go to this location anymore if i need anything like um vegetables like lettuce tomatoes and stuff you know weekly i just get them from food basics or walmart walmart is becoming unbecoming okay too expensive today i bought chicken breast chicken breast chicken thighs what eggs some veggies it's not even a lot too like two small walmart bags it was a hundred dollars so that's crazy i was going to buy um i was going to buy tomatoes at this location but another black woman told me and she was like she has seen there's a whole box of tomatoes at food basics that's going for eight eight ninety nine that's 25 pounds of um 25 pounds of tomatoes so i shouldn't buy from there go to food basics so that's what i'm planning to do whenever i get time i'm gonna go to food basics and get my tomatoes but yeah this is all we have for now so this 
is shopping for just the two of us some will last more than four months some not okay but yeah um next time i'm going to go to this locate this store is going to be in the next four five six months so yeah let me know what you think is the total of this of this haul this is a lot of stuff okay the meat alone surprised me because this kind of meat for only 75 dollars 15 pounds 15 pounds of meat for only 75 dollars i feel like it's good but if you know any any other place that you know that's better than this let me know we love goat meat so let me know um there's also i i saw on tiktok that there's um you can do meat sharing with people and go to like a local farm buy the cow do they i only saw for cow i don't know if they do for goats but yeah buy the cow and um you know butcher it and share it amongst yourselves my cousin and us are down so if you know anyone who wants to do meat sharing in gta area please let me know if you yourself you want to do meat sharing in the gta area i don't know much i don't have a car so we might need someone who has a car so you can travel to wherever because i know the small um the small farms are you know a little bit farther so yeah let me know if you are interested in the meat sharing that if you know any information about this me i don't do so if you are coming please if you know any information about this and how to go about it let me know in the comment section but yeah that is the end of this haul and how i prep my stuff so the total of all these things remember i said i got two pieces of meat uh from walmart and some veggies and it was a hundred dollars you would think all these right would be like four hundred dollars but no the total was two hundred and eighty six dollars sixty six cents i was shocked like when i was when i was carrying these things i had like two um Two trolleys. I thought, hey, I'm 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 almost at four hundred dollars, but no, it's not even up to three hundred. So yeah, I like this store. If you want to check it out, check it out. If you know somewhere with better deals, please let me know in the comment section. You know, now Canada we stay by plan, just like Accra. Canada we stay by plan. If you know anywhere I can get better discounts, better prices for groceries in the GTA area, let me know in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you know this gave you an idea of the cost of living in the GTA area and you know how to go about your stuff and that. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.